What's up, gems? It's your girl, Chucky, and I'm back with another album. Duncan Native Duncan Music. Music. So, y'all, we made it to 2020, okay? So, last year, not even last year, two years ago, I um, was on a journey to healthy hair. If you have watched all my previous videos, I have made... I have made my own shea butter. It's hot in here. This was uh, solid yesterday. This was completely solid yesterday. So I might use this now that because I thought it was solid. Anyways, um, I made my own shea butter uh, hair growth uh, mix myself. I will link that right up here so that you guys can check that out. Um, also, I was using the Certified Bella Beauties um, hair growth treatment for the last two. I was using it for a year and seven months, seven or eight months. And y'all, my hair is thick, okay? So I uh, was trimming it, you know, um, faithfully, not like all the time but i would do twist in that and i would um trim my uh ends or dust my ends where you just twist and then clip off the little stringy pieces i would do that faithfully not every time i um twisted my hair but i would do that um i would do my own mixes protein deep clean um deep conditions like I would do those myself. Now, some of those I did record. Um, I used those faithfully, the um, bentonite clay for cleaning, and then I started adding henna powder to it. I do have a video to show that, you know, I kind of mixed in and what my hair looked like, just so that you can see that if anybody is doing it, you've seen it here first. Um, that was working for me, but I didn't like the way that the henna was still in my hair after I would wash it out, but my hair felt so soft, so clean, so I constantly used it, okay? I still use that mix. Like, I don't think there's a time when I don't use the henna. Um, So, I would do the avocado, the aloe vera leaf, like, all those masks I still use faithfully since whatever last video I even recorded. I'll have some of those up here or up here. I never know which side, but I'll have those up there if I don't. Like I said, you can always go to my page because I always forget. I don't know why, but <coughs> excuse me. Um, you can definitely find those on my page. So I I stopped doing the rice water and the onion juice and the apple cider vinegar rinse, but I think I want to go back to um actually doing that. Um, just because I would mix it in my mixes, uh, or I would put it in like with the aloe vera. I'm not too sure about that, but I still have some that has been sitting for God knows how long. Like, look at that. Can you see the stuff in there? It's just sitting. I don't know if you could see that, but this has been sitting for so long. I know this. Yeah, I want to use it. I don't, I don't care. I'm going to use this the next time I do my hair. I am going to use this and I'm going to record it for you guys because it's been some months, okay? I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. It's been sitting in the dark. It's just, it's been collecting everything. So I'm gonna use it. I don't care if my hair fall out. It's just hair. I'll probably cry and pout about it. For the last three, four months, I have been using new product. My hair is healthy. I am now focusing more on health and retaining length i was getting the length but my ends i don't know what was going on i think it's because i don't sleep with my hair wrapped up and i know i know i know i know i definitely know that's probably the reason so i'm definitely trying to change that going forward and going into 2020 going into new year and trying to retain length my hair is 
so healthy. I'm so proud of how far I have come in actually being consistent with my treatments. But I don't touch my hair. Like, you see my hair? This is how I look every day. If it's not in twist, it's in a puff, or it's like this. I don't touch my hair. That's one of the reasons why my hair is as healthy and it's growing the way that it is and getting thicker because it's definitely a lot thicker it's a lot to manage which is why i don't do my hair um so yes i have been using new products um and i have noticed since using these products once i wash my hair um, and do leave the condition in my hair is so soft it's a lot easier to detangle I am seeing so much less shedding I'm not seeing as much breakage I still have a little breakage but I, the ends um like I said my ends are bad or uh, not bad um they were just thin my ends were thinning um so I recently just got my hair trimmed um cut I'm I won't even say trimmed I got my hair cut I got it even my layers was off one side was longer than the other and my ends were thin now I didn't get as much cut off as I um should have um but because my hair shrinks up so much she didn't want to like make me go haywire pretty much so um yeah so anyways i've been using new products for the last three or four months on top of the things that i make at home i have not been using like store-bought products on my hair like that except for um maybe a gel gels yes um some moisturizing stuff i had i still use on my hair i still have a few um, the only thing that I have left at this point is an African Pride that I've been using. And then I bought this other stuff for like $3 because I had a coupon. Y'all know I love couponing. And I use that Ibotta. If you don't know what Ibotta is, the link is down in the description box. And you can get cash back for shopping at certain stores. Um... It's bomb. I love it. Anyways, if you want to know more about Ibotta, make sure that you comment down in the comment section and make sure you like this video so that I can record that for you guys. But anyways, the new products that I have been using, I started with the conditioner and the shampoo first. Oh my God. My hair loves it mainly because it is a moisture silk condition and it focuses more on moisturizing your hair y'all so the therapeutic shampoo it gets my scalp to breathing okay it gets them follicles open they be tingling okay if i get it on my ears my ears be like hello we can hear okay the shampoo is Bomb. Okay, so those two products are the Kaleidoscope hair products, okay? If you don't know what these are, you need to check them out. I love them. Now, there's more shampoo and less conditioner. And I think because Babe only puts conditioner in her hair and it sucks because these are $16. Granted, she pays for them and she gets them on sale. But y'all, there's like no conditioner in here. Barely any conditioner in here. Doesn't matter to me. The shampoo is bomb. And I have I like have my own like conditioners and stuff like that. So I'm not tripping. But she's going to be paying for them because I'm not. Because $16, baby. Like, I'm finally finding some products that I like. And they're expensive. And honey, girl, you're using them all. No, um, seriously, that's how good they are. Like, I got, I bought them and I was raving and raving and raving about these products. And Babe was like, oh, I'm about to order some. And she ordered some more. So, I think Babe is definitely on the same page I am on with these products. Like, these right here, I love it. And, you know, uh, what's that one? Selsum Blue or something like that. I don't remember what it's called, but it's good for dandruff. Same color, same effect, same, let me, same smell. Like, you can just, that just opened up my nose. Like, if you, if you stopped up, baby, 
smell this, okay? That's, y'all, I just, I can't tell y'all, like, I, I feel like I made a great choice turning to these products, switching over to these products because my hair loves them. Also, I have been using um, the Kaleidoscope um, Miracle Drops. Now, when I first started using the Miracle Drops, I was alternating between um, the Bella Beauty um, hair growth system in these now my hair was growing i am definitely going to do a link check but my back was down in here it was touching it was it was grazing the shoulders okay like it was i had some length you know um i'll insert pictures if i could find any i have pictures i post them and then i delete them i don't know anyways you'll see some pictures um so my hair was definitely growing, but like I said, once I was um once I was longer than the other and my ends were thinning. So I am now on a journey to only be using this growth oil for the next year. If I like it, then I'll keep using it. I have two more bottles. I got them on sale. Oh no. I got three bottles. I think I got three bottles. Either I got two or three bottles. They were on sale, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I was in there, okay? That's how when she ordered that. She also ordered me the milk shake infused with coconut milk, leave-in detangler spray. And if you know me, if you follow me, if you just hear me talk about my hair, the tangle process and the just detangling process as a whole the tangle and detangle process is just listen it's 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 a process especially with my hair being thick okay it's a process sorry that you guys are seeing my um my ring light and my glasses y'all know i can't see um so i've only used this twice and i used it to moisturize my hair which is what we're going to be doing today. And I am going to be using um, my African Pride, either the curling cream or something else. Um, we'll see. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to be using this and that. And then I'm going to oil my scalp. Let's go ahead and get started with this link check and doing something to this hair because it's time. So, I am going to be getting my, that's a leave-in. I don't want the leave-in. So... I am going to get the curling cream and I am going to get my 21 century twisting butter, which is this right here. It has um, shea butter, mango butter, olive oil, tamanu oil, jojoba oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E. So technically this is this i actually not might mix these two together oh my god why would i not do that that is so smart mm. see i get to record and get to coming up with some concoctions y'all that's a whole nother video i'm not even gonna use these two i'm gonna mix these two and then we're gonna come back and use those so um wow i'm gonna use some of this though because i do want to oil my actual hair or do i want to use that do i want to use that i don't know what we're gonna use what we're gonna use i need to oil my hair i need to oil my hair hey okay whatever we're gonna use we're gonna use this i'm gonna put it in my little bottle i'm gonna use a little bit though i'm not gonna use a lot i don't want my hair too oily because i'm going to be using this shea butter and flaxseed oil oil moisture miracle moisture and define curling cream for um, from african pride i think i used this in a video before um but yeah i'm just my mind is like because mm, i see some stuff i want to add together i got a concoction i want to make i am so ready y'all just don't know i got on here and i got a concoction for a 2020 baby yes i'm so ready okay so i just 
just got a little bit, not a lot, not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit, not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. Yeah, so get started. Um, okay, so the back of my hair, let's get this link check popping. Um, we're gonna, you know, spray a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. You know? Okay, so my back now officially here. And if you have been following my journey, you know my back was bald okay like not bald but it was definitely breaking all the time so you can just see where my hair is is like my nail is touching my shoulders but my hair isn't officially touching my shoulders anymore and that's since I have gotten the cut because I got a cut I'm not even going to say a trim I definitely got a cut but you can see where now that my hair is like growing back here you can see where it's thicker in the roots and then it gets thinner so you can physically see that my hair is getting healthy like it's getting thicker like look at that you can physically see that my hair is getting thicker wow i've never really just looked at my hair like that but you can tell that it's healthy okay mm -hmm. All right, so the side, let's do this side. Um, Actually, section off this part of my hair. So I have not really been Let's using um, utensils in my hair like that like combs and stuff so i'm just finger detangling and you can see that that was pretty easy like look at that all i did was spray my hair with that detangling leave-in that's it so we're going to go ahead and apply some of this curling cream to this section, make sure the roots and stuff and the ends, make sure we definitely get those ends cause y'all know I said my ends are terrible. Now I hate the way that product sits on top of my hair. It's like my hair don't wanna take it in, but if it's water-based, my hair likes it, but my curl pattern just pops when I have product in. I just don't like the way that it sits on my hair. So if you have any tips on how to get your hair to actually um, hold the product in, let me know. So look at my hair. Oh, look at these curls. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick flat twist. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, oil. It looks like melted butter, but it smells so good. Go ahead and use this to seal in the leave-in and the moisturizing cream just to seal in that moisture oh my god, oh my god. you see how the back is like a different like um oh, sorry see how it's just like a different curl pattern than this it's like looser the back and my front those are the two sections that just won't hold the curl like it'll wave up but it won't hold the curl i hate that 
Yeah, y'all making hella noise. I heard you. I heard y'all. Y'all all in my video. I'm not live. I'm recording my um link check. I'm fucking whooping ass in this damn thing. What are y'all playing? We were on the leaderboard and she got two scores on the leaderboard. And I got third. But I still I did some stunts on the leaderboard. I, I did some stunts on the leaderboard. I jumped and I hit the boost button to do a flip. It's like soccer, but with cars. Yeah. All right then. My house is a gamer house, and I'm slowly accepting that, y'all. Slowly. Slowly. You know, I thought I was gonna get to go to science fairs. You know, football games, basketball games, a soccer game, something. No. I'm going to be going to game conventions. That'll be my life. All right, y'all. So I'm going to do like this. Oh, wait. I got to show y'all links. All right, guys. So hold on. Because I'm trying to move it. So that y'all can see me. And I need y'all to be able to see my hair. Okay, that's better. I need y'all to be able to see my hair and not move. So we're on this side and I can't, I can't get my fingers to that late. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh, spray my hair with the leave-in we're just going to distribute that down the stra strands of my hair before we try to detangle. Look at that. And that's just from spraying with the milkshake, y'all. When I tell y'all my hair loves these products, it treats my hair right. Look at that. I was able to loosen that up. So now we just gonna go through, get rid of any tangles, all that good shit. Wow, look at that. See how easy that was? Like, bruh. Okay, so this back section here, is here this front section which is closer to my edges as you can see like i don't know if you can see but as i let go of hair this section is here okay all right curling cream Make sure I pay attention to those ends and my roots because my roots need love too. See, like this front, no curl pattern. Burly. The ends have a curl pattern, but there's no curl pattern. See how like this has all that curl pattern? The front just don't. It just be acting up. I'm not caring how these look because y'all know I come on here any kind of way. I be looking any kind of way. And I don't care because when I actually fix myself up, a girl look good. So, but what y'all be talking about? And I ain't trying to be looking good for nobody anyway. Because even when I look like a bum, babe says I look good. So, you know. And I really just need to moisturize my hair like... I told them I'm going to be walking around like this for the rest of the year because I don't do anything to my hair. I'm trying to retain length and I have goals and that's to look how healthy this looks like damn it. It don't look healthy. Eh. 
don't want to hear it also i am trying to keep from using bands because they taking your girl's hair out like i ain't even gonna lie like in the back i feel like that's another reason why i'm not retaining length in the back because the bands be in the same spot and it's just breaking off so i'm seeing length but my hair is growing but i'm not seeing the length because stuff is breaking it off so same deal As you can see, I'm able to run my nails through it, no problem. I'm not even using a comb, y'all. Nails just gliding right through it. That is less breakage, less knots. Look at God, okay? my first round of hair y'all seen i did two sections for you guys and i didn't pull no hair off my hand that's all that i got no tangles no breakage look at that mm. y'all 2020 for my hair goals is going to be a good year if i just stay on this path and i need y'all to hold me accountable i know y'all are here for my hair journey because it's been a long time okay i've been through trial and error i have failed i have been through so many big chops and i am finally getting my life together for my hair okay look at this look at these curls baby oh another thing that i have learned and another reason why i am on this path of the retaining the hair length because i noticed my hair loves water duh like you know how i said the products just sit on my hair if it's not like this almost into like a water-based form um it sits on top of my hair but if it's like this it loves my hair just loves it i don't know what it is it just it be like girl yes i'm thriving y'all see these curls just look at these curls look at that let me just let me just show y'all that let me just show y'all these curls oh my goodness let me hold on hold on because y'all not seeing it y'all not seeing it Bam! Look at that. Look at this curl. Look at this. Look at look at this. Y'all not hearing me. Okay, so length. Get back down. I know you want to be seen, but get back. Okay. Front. Here I am. And I'm doing the front and the back section because this back section is the middle of my hair. Because I have I'm doing like the back section, I'm doing like the back half and then the front half. So I want you to see the middle section of my hair as well. So here is the middle section. And again, a little bit above the, above my shoulder. Like I said, not picky about how these look. Because I'm just moisturizing, doing a link check, and they come down in the morning. And I'll probably just rough, rock my afro. Babe loves my afro. I am now to the point to where I like the length of my afro. If... But it is stretched. If it is stretched. Um, if it's not stretched, I don't really care for it like that. Because I feel like it looks weird on me. And my hair shrinks up so much. So when it's shrunken, it's a no for me. I don't like this part of my hair. This is the part of the hair that does not hold a curl. So let's go ahead and spray this. Right click, 
So I am going to do this just to show you. Actually, this is a lot easier. So I should have did it before I sprayed my hair, but I'm back at my lip and this is like my third time at my lip. So I'm just, you know, either barely under or right at the cusp of my lip. But we can see where it is above my shoulder. All right, second half. All right, so this is... Okay, so... Mm. Same. Okay, so I want to show y'all. This is me. Sticking my fingers through before adding the milk. So y'all want to think I'm playing y'all. Look at this. I'm just gliding through it. Okay, so I'm not going to section off because it looks like it's pretty even, burly above the shoulders. Almost forgot. Bam. So when I'm done with all that, once I get my hair moisturized, and y'all know I usually rock a puff, so I never care about my twist and how they look. But since I'm rocking an afro, I still don't care how they look because I just want it, you know, stretched a little bit more because it's going to shrink anyway. Y'all know my hair, so... Then I go in with my kaleidoscope drops and I usually try to fill it, but that never happens. And I just, you never have to like squeeze it because they say a little bit goes a long way. And so I normally take it and I take the first one and I dab all over. Take the first little thing that I get and I dab all over, barely squeezing the little thing. I guess being lazy today is really like not here for me today. Just take it down, do it all over again. Okay, so normally when I add my oil, I just go in and massage it in. Ah, I, I got a cracked nail, y'all. Okay, so that is pretty much what I do when I do the LOC method, which is the uh, leave-in or LCO method, leave-in cream and oil, which is, this is the new leave-in that I have been using. Um, this is one of the creams that I have been using, and then my mixture of oil to seal in everything. Um, that was pretty much this link check, you know, we're going to keep on at it. Um, I am going to show you guys the new, 
um, thing that I want to mix together. I will have a video on that. And um, some of my um, protein treatments, my wash day routine, uh, my deep conditions, I will be back for the new year 2020 to show you guys how I prepare to keep my hair healthy and to retain weight. If you like this video, if you are excited about this hair growth journey as I am, make sure that you thumbs up this video, leave a comment down in the comment section. And if you are new here, please, please, please make sure that you subscribe so that you'll get notified every time I post a video, um, when it comes to my hair, just, you know, things with Kai, um, things with Babe, whatever you want to see. If you want to see something that I haven't done, make sure you leave it in the comment section. Um, and I will be happy to try to record those videos for you in between going to school and working. Y'all know how it is. Um, so I will see you guys in the next video. And until next time, bye, Jims.